All right, I bought these on Amazon. They're sports Bluetooth HD DVR sunglasses. And uh, they were 59 bucks. And basically that's the package they came in. So let's go ahead and open it up. Pull this bad boy out of here. It's kind of tight in here. Let's see if it'll come out. There we go. All right, we'll put that over there. And let's take a look and see what we get inside. This is what it comes with. Um, it does come with this congratulations card and it's a warranty card. They also have their customer service on there. So you want to keep that. Um, this is to clean the lens and, uh, and here we are. It does come with these two earbuds that you plug into it using these, uh, USB ports and this snazzy looking case. And also this right here, which is used usually to take SIM cards out of phones, but it came with one of these. All right, so let's put that to the side. All right, so these the glasses are pretty cool. Um, you'll notice they've got a film on them to, pre to protect the lens. So you got to pull that off of there, which goes like that. Does not want to come off easy. So you got to get that off. There's that one. If I can get this side. Bam, done. All right, so if you look at it, you can see there's the camera there. And then on the sides, you've got a couple buttons. You see those? And those do different things. Uh, one, this side here is for the Bluetooth, and, you, and that's to raise, raise and lower the volume. Um, there's nothing on the inside of this. On this side, uh, you've got all of your uh, hookups. This is your charging port here. This is where you put your your micro card in here. And um, it's got a reset button. And then over on this side is uh, the button that you're going to be pressing to um, to, to initiate uh, the camera, to use the camera. So we're going to plug it all in and charge it. And, uh, and we're going to give this a try and see how it works and see if it's viable. It's supposed to shoot 1080p. HD, I think it's like 30. Oh, look, I got to get the stuff from the inside too. So you got to get in there too and get that. Let's see if I can get it without scratching the lens. That is precarious. You see it? It's got that, it's got this on the inside too. Oh, shit. Does not want to come off, does it? I don't want to scratch the lens I'm trying to get this off. So that's a bad, that's not a good system. The way they have this. Look what I got to do to get into it. And I finally got it. You see that? Look at that. Oh my God. Does not want to come off of there. This does not want to come off. This is a hard pull out, but I think I got it. Except for this one little piece here, which is gonna bug the shit out of me if I don't I have to get some tweezers to get that out of there. Yeah. How do I get this side off? See, there's no little tab. Usually there's a little tab that you can pull, but you gotta get your fingernail in there and see what I'm doing? I don't know if that's good for the, I'm getting a little bit of it off of there. So that's a bad design. So if you get these, realize that this is not easy to get off. This, this film that they put on it to protect it actually could end up causing you to ruin it. <laughs> you're not careful and it's hard and you can't hardly get it out of there look see there's a little piece still stuck in there that is not a good design Let's see if I can pull it out no yeah I'm gonna have to get some little tweezers to grab that out of there I got a little piece here a little piece there but anyway we're gonna try everything out on this and check it out I'm gonna explain a little bit deeper uh, in a second all right, so I did get a pair of tweezers. I'm going to see if I can get this out of here. 
without scratching the lens. Oh shit. It's not, this is not a good, this is definitely not a good system. Well, it kind of sucks if you end up scratching your lens trying to get the, trying to get this blue shit out of here. Right off the bat, this makes me want to send it back. You see that? Okay, let's just, just shove them on, check them out. All right, well, the lens doesn't seem to be too cracked or scratched from pulling that stuff out, so they fit pretty good. They don't look too bad. Kind of cool. If I put a hat on, I wouldn't be showing my whole forehead, but I think that's going to work. All right, now let's check out the rest of the how this thing works. Okay, so we got to charge these bad boys, and uh, because I've got an Apple computer, I've got this... Uh, I've got this hookup that I put in the back, you know, so that um, I can uh, just plug in, and not have to reach around the com all the way around the computer. So this has to go on the right side. All right. So you just got to figure out which way it goes in. And when I do, you should see that light. See that light right there? When that thing gets to blue, then we're ready to go. And then also I have, you have to, you can use a 32 gig um, SD card right here. It shows it going in this way. So we put it in and it should just pop right in there. Let's push it in and see how it works. Oh, there we go. Now it's in. All right, so we do have that little spring in there that works. All right, so, so far so good. This is trial and error, folks. I got news for you. All right, looks like we're blue. It looks like we're good. Now I just got to see if it shows up on the computer. All right, so anyway, I'm going to check the computer. Slide this over a little bit because I need the mouse. All right, so right now it's not it's not picking this up on my finder. I'm not seeing it. So I'm a little concerned about that. But we'll do some video with it anyway and then see if it picks up. Um, because it should just get it should tell me that it, it sees this device, but <clears throat> it's not showing me that right now. So I guess we're gonna have to we might have to send this back. <laughs> so also, I put on Final Cut Pro to see if it would see anything on there. And it's not finding this device for some reason. So I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work with the Apple computer. If it doesn't, i got to send it back. All right, to record video, what you have to do is you have to hold this button here for about two seconds. And this blue light should blink. 1001. 1002. Okay, so it's making a blink. All right. The blue light will blink three times and then slowly flash. The camera starts to record video and audio. Short press again will stop it. So that's kind of annoying. Let's put it on and see see if what we see. All right, so anyway, supposedly it is videotaping right now. I would imagine. And uh, then we'll see what we're, we can see. We'll look around the room. And then we'll try to upload the video. How's that sound? All right, to stop it from recording, apparently you just press this once. And that stops it. Well, maybe you got to hold it down. Yep, that's it. You have to hold it a little bit longer. So that turns it off. Okay, so anyway, to turn it on, you press this right here for two seconds, 1001, 1002. And then that's gonna flash, apparently. I don't know how long it flashes, it's green, so that doesn't, it's supposed to be blue, but I'm not sure. So to turn it off, I press right here and I hold it till it stops flashing. 
All right, to get this thing out, we got to push down on it. And it should pop up, and then we can just pull it out. And now we're going to try it in the computer and see if we got anything. I'm hoping it worked. If it didn't, <laughs> if this didn't, we'll know right now. All right, so I plugged it into the back of the computer, and there's no name, and that's what's in it, nothing. So it did not work. <laughs> I can't recommend purchasing these if you have a Mac. They're probably not going to work for you.